Now to ensure that you get a proper amount of leverage and wrist cock, we got to drop the shaft down so it's pointed at your belt buckle. And that's what I just did. And as you turn back, you're getting a little bit better shoulder turn and a little more wrist cock. Now I'm going to just fast forward to this last shot you hit. So you can see there's a big difference in, in the setup position. The one on the right, the swing on the right, your hands are above your belt line. And then in the swing on the left, your hands are much lower. Now that seemed to help. Now your friend was saying, oh, you move your head a lot. Well, not really. I mean, it moves some, but not much. It moves... No. Right. But your swing is on a nice plane. You can see the club comes up and down the shaft line. So you're not slicing across it by any means there, Jim. It's actually a really good swing. But, but the ball is Bending the lead arm. That left arm. That was better. You got a little chicken wing. But you know what? That one, like I said, was was better than the previous. Well, the other thing we did was we got you a little further away than you normally were standing. You 